Wow. <laughs> Welcome to Backyard Planky. My name is Charles and I'll be your host as we go through and explore everything BB and pellet related from air pistols to air rifles, targets, and ammo. <clears throat> this very nice air rifle that I have right here is from Benjamin. It's the uh, Steel Eagle. Now you've probably seen some of these uh, on a shelf at your local you know, retailer or a sporting goods store. And this one in particular is the, uh, uh, is it the, the Jeremy Shockey version? And so, got his picture on the front of the box, a little crocodile, the Dundee hat. Um, Canadian fella, I think. Supposed to host a couple of TV shows, something about uh, adventures and some kind of uncharted thing. I don't know. Never seen them. I don't speak Canadian. Just kidding. Actually, I owe Canada a lot. A lot of gratitude. Y'all got me out of a lot of grief over the years. You know, them trick coins that you got? You know, the ones with two heads on there? Whoo, saved me more than once. One of us gonna have to clean this up. You wanna flip for it? All right, got a coin? Yeah, I do. Appreciate it. Anyway, this one is a .177 caliber. This one has the Nitro Piston too. Now. Quite a while back, I shared a, a blast email that Crossman had put out about the Nitro Piston 2. There was three factors in there. First of all, it was going to be more powerful. Second of all, it was going to supposed to be quieter. Cheer you're still out on that one. Uh, the third part was because of the way the thing was put together somehow, the cocking force was supposed to be a whole lot easier. And I can assure you, it's not completely effortless, but it's it doesn't take much now this thing advertises 1400 feet per second yeah with alloy however because of the nitro piston 2 that's in here it's supposed to be with lead pellets 1200 feet per second And that swinging steel target does not appreciate it, I can assure you. <clears throat> now, if you look around, you can find these things for quite some time. The price was like 200 bucks on them. If you look now, if you kind of look around, you can find them anywhere from 149 still up to the $199 mark. When you take it out of the box, it does have a rubber butt pad on it. Uh, it is a synthetic stock and you can see the rubberized grip is actually in the uh, on the stock itself and it it makes a difference. It's comfortable but it, it it really gives you a good grip to be able to hang on to. It is set to have a sling mounted to it. Um, it's got the lever safety. Now, you know I'm not crazy about them suicide safeties. This one is different. If you look at this thing, you see how it's curved. So when it's on safe, I mean, it's almost impossible to get your finger in there to accidentally bump it out of the way. You, you have to knowingly take the safety to the fire position. I like that a lot. On the end, <clears throat> From about here down, it's supposed to have internal baffles in there that's supposed to help with the sound reduction. Now, the, the sheath that's on the outside will spin. I mean, it's, it's just a cover uh, to protect the barrel and all that kind of stuff. It does come with a 3 by 9 by 32 adjustable scope. So, it does have all the power settings on the scope. I mean, you can really zoom into this thing. Also, has a focal zoom here at the end to you know, kind of clean it up a little bit but it is uh, <clears throat> I've been shooting it for a little while and it's it is very nice they did a they did a pretty good job on this thing it's 
I brought some of the other brake barrels out here um, specifically a couple of the crossmans that have the nitro piston 2 in it um, ones that I've shown to you and well one that you had not seen yet just to kind of experiment you can definitely tell the difference you know the power's a little hard to judge because I really haven't set up a test for it but as far as the cocking force and stuff absolutely but it is a it is a nice air rifle excited to get this thing out and kind of stretch its legs a lot of people have <coughs> the, the last video I did about the contest that Air Gun Depot does the Long Rangers a lot of people have put in some suggestions and whatnot and that's that's great y'all keep them coming on huh? another week or so before I uh, before I have to make that trip and whether y'all vote for this one or not I might just take this one anyway very nice. Why you look it's the illegal Benjamin. Cool. Next time, my name is Charles.